So that's what we're going to talk about uh, for this podcast is the state of TV animation. I, I can geek out about animation all yeah. day. I also think there's a difference in just our time right now. Right. Um, whereas like I associate the 90s with goofier, kind of sillier. Yep. Now we're starting to embrace anti-heroes and darkness <laughs> and things are... Or, or it goes the opposite, and it's very, like, whimsical and fantasy. Adventure time. Um, yeah. I'm going to give you guys my card and hope to hear from you again. And if you have any friends or family that eat poop and would like to stop, give them my number. <laughs> again, I want to reiterate, the intellectualism of things like Rick and Morty It's not true intellectualism. So, yes, the joke is the fans say, oh, it's a smart show and, and we're smart, and then we get to laugh because they're not smart. It's not a smart show. The intellectualism is all in the philosophy, the ideas they tackle, and things like Susan Sarandon reminding us that day-to-day -day living is work, not an adventure. And the theme is reinforced of the, the concept of the show being powerful, then immediately undercutting it with silly humor. Right. And as she reminds <laughs> people, <poop. laughs> she's a therapist that deals mostly with people that eat. There's... She's your daughter, you piece of garbage. You're a piece of garbage, a real shitty piece of garbage. Uh... Just all packaged into this most recent season of BoJack. We talked about the depression monologue. That's mm -hmm. been a persistent thing. We talked about uh, marriage, marital issues oh between God, Mr. Yeah. Peanut Butter and Diane. That was all the way through. Drug and alcohol addiction. We talked about the, or we haven't talked about, there's yeah. drug and alcohol addiction. There's lots of stuff about parents and parenting and how that influences people. But there's also a wanting to be a parent too oh, yeah. with Mrs. Car Princess Carolyn who has a, <laughs> Miscarriage, and just, you see her just like spiral. Spiral. And then this is also, I think, one of the best shows to actually, for a sustained period, look at dementia. Yes. Too. Oh, God. With yeah. uh, Bojack's mom and like seeing her pass and seeing how things are fuzzy. And, and then they're clear for a second. Yeah. And it's just, uh, it's kind of spectacular what they're able to do with this season. The metaphors and the importance of all that is wrapped in absurdity. Yeah. And animation is better equipped to tackle the absurd than live action. Yeah. You're just swerving back and forth. Turn one way and stick with it, Tina. Tina, for the love of God, turn away or stop! There's this trope of the television dad and the television mom and the television children, mm -hmm. and the dad's gonna staunchly fight anything progressive, the mom's gonna sort of advocate for the children out of love, but then tell them to support their dad, and it's just this trope. They just abandon all of it. Bob doesn't hang on to any masculine thing you know he is himself in a lot of ways it's harder to take risks when it comes to network or uh primetime tv television. but what bob's burgers has done is it they don't shy away from like kind of hard situations but yeah. they keep it at a tone and lightheartedness yes. and like eccentricity standpoint that you don't see anywhere else never gets too serious <laughs> your butt is kind of creepy I say creepy is just another label we use to distance ourselves from stuff we don't understand. Or that reminds us of something in ourselves that we're not comfortable with. They have advanced what they are trying to put yeah. into the collective conscious in a great way that says respect your fellow human, that says respect nature, that says we're all in this together. I mean, the <laughs> what they're teaching children is so much better than what we got as kids. Yeah. We plant those ideas early that black and white is bad, that dividing is bad, and hopefully we can avoid more of what's going on now in the world. Yeah, it's very interesting the, just how divisive everything is. And they're more uh, in tune with being accepting of the opposite side yep. than most people right, in right. America. These two goofy, so. silly characters are more human, are yeah. more what humans should be than actual live people. Yeah. Alive, I tell you, mother, I love you. I wanna hold you. I wanna run in the stream.